Switching gears now, traditional Korean ginseng chicken soup, otherwise known here in Korea as samgyetang, has the chance to become a big hit with people in the UAE. It's the first time for a country in the Middle East to allow imports of the halal processed chicken soup, and it's expected, hopefully at least, to serve as a bridgehead for expanding Korean exports to that region. Uh, Park Se-young with more. Carefully prepared chicken is stuffed with ingredients like glutinous rice, ginseng, and garlic. The chicken is then sealed with broth, sterilized and cooked before they're sent to the packing room to be shipped. This is the manufacturing process for samgyetang, traditional Korean ginseng chicken soup that's often consumed as a healthy food on hot summer days in Korea. After having gained popularity in China and Japan, 1,200 packs of halal processed samgyetang were shipped off to the United Arab Emirates late last week. The UAE is the first Islamic country in the Middle East to allow such imports. Halal food refers to products that are prepared in concordance with Muslim dietary laws. According to Korea's Ministry of Agriculture, it has reached an agreement with the UAE on quarantine standards regarding samgyetang and beef. The ministry added the samgyetang maker was certified halal by both the Japanese and the UAE halal certification bodies, a costly and timely process. In addition to meeting quality standards for samgyetang in Korea, we pass strict food safety standards required by the Middle East for exports. In Malaysia, sales of Korean instant noodles or ramen have been on the rise, boosted by the popularity of K-pop and Korean dramas. The most popular choice is halal-certified Tebak instant noodles, developed by a joint venture between Korea's Shinseki Food and Malaysia's Mami Double Decker. An average of 300,000 packs have been sold every month since last year's launch, and the first batch of a new flavor sold out in just two weeks earlier this month. The market share of Korean products in the Malaysian instant noodles market jumped from less than 1% in 2014 to about 12% in 2018. Last year alone, Korean companies sold 20 million U.S. dollars worth of instant noodles in Malaysia. With the increase in local demand, Malaysia has risen as a major importer of Korean instant noodles, along with China, the U.S., Japan and Taiwan. Park Se-young, Arirang News.